Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's quick video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks when it comes to opening and figuring out who has your drawing file open when you're getting a read-only error in AutoCAD. This is going to be super useful, especially for those of you at larger companies with big networks and a lot of possibilities when it comes to who could have your drawing open. Make sure you watch this one. It's going to definitely help you. Cheers. All right, so jumping right in, I'm sure we've all seen this alert or error message before in AutoCAD. Typically this is gonna happen when someone else has your drawing or a drawing you'd like to open already opened. Now, there are a handful of times where this can happen by accident or due to network issues and lag, but generally this is going to be caused when another user has a drawing open and you're trying to open it as well. Now, in this case, the in use by is simply saying admin. Now this is likely myself since I'm using my home network, but in the case of larger companies or bigger networks, you may get an error file like this. And in this case, you can't actually tell who has it open. It's just telling you that it is read only and it's giving you the file path, which I've blacked out. Now there is a quick and easy solution to figuring out who has this open and that is the who has command. Now, if you type in who has in the command line and hit enter, it's going to ask you to navigate to the file where you're looking to open and you're gonna get a dialog box similar to this. Now, typically this is going to tell you exactly who has your file open. Now you may need to do a little bit digging if you have say a large company looking up say the first and last name or the username associated with the drawing, but this is a quick and easy way to figure out who has that drawing open when you're in a hurry to get it open and get work done. Now, there's a few other tips and tricks to go along with the read-only errors, and that is looking at the file or folder where the drawing file is saved and make checking if there are .dwl files. These are drawing lock files and typically signify that a drawing has been or is opened currently. Now, if a drawing crashes, there is the occasion where these lock files remain in the folder. Now, simply deleting them will typically allow you to now open that drawing. So if you've ever had a crash or issues with your drawing and these DWLs are in the folder, deleting those is typically going to fix a read-only error as well. But this is only the case if no one actually has it open. If someone does have it open, using the who has command is going to help track them down and ask them to close or find out what's happening. That's all for today's tip. It's a super quick one, but it's one that comes up quite often and has saved me in the past personally. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to keep up, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and sign up for my free newsletter with the link down below. If you're looking to learn more about AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows, I also have a course that is packed full of over 15 years of tips, tricks, and workflows, which is discounted at that link up above and down below. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers.